So as you guys know, I've always been in search of a card that will allow me to make international transactions with ease and open doors that you did not even know that you could open um, because of these cards. Okay, so I've tried many different types of cards, my UBA prepaid card um, to make certain transactions, my DOM account um, cards because they're dollar or foreign currency denominated, even virtual cards that I get from companies that I felt like because they're not Nigerian, they should allow me to make these international transactions with ease. But still, nothing was working until I remembered um, this card and I'm talking about about the Payoneer card. Um, this is a physical card I got, I think around 2018 or 2019, and it's expired now, it expired in 2021. And I never renewed it because of the hassle it took me um, to get this card sent to me in Nigeria. You know, I had to wait for about a month and all of the back and forth. I just didn't want to go through this again. But I just remembered, you know what, let me try get this again. Uh, hopefully it's going to solve most of the problems that I have. And you want to stick with me to the very end of the video as well because um, you will understand why this is important. What what you can now do with um, this card um, if you are able to get it. Um, so once I went to um, Payoneer, I went to Banking Cards and then you go over to um, Payoneer Cards. Once I was here, I realized that I could not only request for a physical card because this was what I was dreading, which made me not even consider this as an option. I didn't want to wait that long. So, but if I click on order a card now, you will see that I have the option to request for a virtual card or a physical card, which is a game changer for me, at least for me. This is relatively new as well. Before now, you could only ask for a physical card from Payoneer. But with a virtual card, it meant that you can get your card quicker. And if you think about it, you really don't need a physical card card um, especially if you live in a country like nigeria where you don't spend um, foreign currency like the euro or the pounds or the dollars you mostly use these things online so a virtual card was perfect for me so i went through the process and as you can see if i click on next i have no option to um, select a a us dollar um virtual card because I've already created one and it took me about one week to do this and that was because there was a little bit of back and forth between myself and Payoneer uh, because I had to provide a the first ask for me to provide a utility bill or a bank statement I provided a bank statement and then they now requested that I provide um, a rental agreement on top of that so once you order a card what will happen is they will request for one of these two documents um, if the first one goes through then it will be quicker if all of the details that they want they usually want your address um, especially the address that is tied to your payoneer account to be um, very clearly displayed on the utility bill or the bank statement that you would provide i'm not sure if that's why um, my first entry was was rejected or not rejected but it asked for more information and making it clear that my um, address has to be on the rental agreement that provides so they give you a sample of what the rental agreement should look like i own a home i have some tenants so i already have rental agreements um, laying around so i just simply edited it um, following their guidelines and everything and just put in my name there and then submitted that to them and it went through so once i did that i can't remember precisely but less than a week um, i got my account approved and my card became active well not automatically active i had to um, check out my request for my uh, bank for my uh, card details to be sent to me and once you have this card details sent to you you want to save that card details somewhere secure somewhere safe um, because they don't show this to you on your account um, at will okay so you have to save that information somewhere on your computer on the cloud somehow safe so once that is saved now you can now top up your card um with the from your balance but here it's kind of tricky to top up the balance so let me walk you through how it goes the card is automatically topped up from your payoneer balance so once you receive money in your payoneer balance it becomes available to use in your card but if you don't want it like that so let's say i want to have only 20 dollars in my card so what i do is i turn off as you can see right now top up automatic top up is turned off on my card so I turn that off and then receive money into my card and once i receive that money i do all of the transactions i want to do maybe withdraw out or send to someone on pay now whatever i want to do i'm left with 20 dollars in my balance and i come back in here so i come back here and turn on automatic um, top up and you can see that the maximum limit is um, or the top up maximum is ten thousand dollars so if you have twenty ten thousand dollars above um, the card can only hold up to $10,000, but you can set a custom limit from $500 to $10,000. So once I save, the, the amount I have in my account now gets topped up to my um, balance. And once I have that money in my card, 
and I know that maybe I will be receiving more money and I don't want that to be available in my card. What I will do is I come back here, I turn this off and I click on save. Now, if I receive money into my card, um, sorry, if I receive money into my Payoneer account, then that money will not show up on my um, card until I do this again. I take out all I need and then, you know, repeat the process and have the money that I want to go into the card left on my account. I turn it on again. So that's how I go around topping up the card with the exact amount that I want to be topped up on the card. So that's all you need to know about this card, guys. The process of getting it is pretty much straightforward um, as with most things on Payoneer. OK, so once you have this card, there are so many things that you can do with this card, which is why you need to watch this um, videos right now showing on the cards. You want to see what this card can allow you to do the doors that it opens for you and i'm telling you guys it's going to solve at least two of the major problems that most of you have been asking me on this channel so you want to watch this video next thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care